Hi, my name's Ryan. This is Cade. We're from JK Adventure, and today we are going to show you how to balance a large set of tires unconventionally. Tune in. Here's what we're working with today. It's a set of Nitto Mud Grappler 40 by 1550 by 20s, and the problem is, is that you can't conventionally balance these, at least not on any machine I've ever seen, because they're just too wide to fit underneath the deck. Now, some people have seen true balance machines and some other ones that uh, may be able to do it, but I went to about eight tire shops and nobody would do it. So, what we are going to do is unconventionally balance them. So, you can see I've got my uh, bead locks going and I have my power tank tools. All right, first what you're looking at is my rim. I jacked it up off the floor just to take the weight off of it. And this is a little easier for me because I have monster valves from Power Tank. So these are significantly larger. That hole you're looking at is about just a little smaller than a dime size. And so all I have to do are back these out to get the project started. Now you can just pull out the regular tire valve if you don't have monster valves, which I'm assuming you don't, and this will still work going that way. You don't have to break down your bead locks or rims in order to unconventionally balance. All right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to use some airsoft pellets because they don't rust. You can use BBs. You don't have to use as many because they are a little heavier, but we don't need a ton of weight, so these should work good. I recommend starting out with about 10 ounces on anything that's like a 37, 38, 40 inch tire. You might need to go as high as 16, but you're better to start Daddy. low. Daddy! Daddy! And you're better to start low and add some. So here we go. You can see we keyed in our scale Look at, at 10. Him. Look at him! And we're going to add some. We'll keep an eye on the scale. I'm up to about 5 ounces. little bit more I do five. and that's about 10 so we're gonna start there I'm gonna add 10 I'll drive around with it for a few days see if I need some more or maybe even need less next we're gonna take a funnel we're gonna put it in the hole this is a little harder if you have conventional valve stems because it's a smaller hole than what I have to work with but since I have monster valves this fits right in and then you just have to pour your pellets in The trick to this is to really move slow, especially if you have conventional valves. If you have monster valves, you can go a little faster, but I'll show you about the right speed. Yeah, I will show Daddy will show you one speed. So just a few at a time. It takes a while. Give yourself a good five minutes or so. But yeah. if you do it that way, yeah. I think you'll have success. All right, once you are done, might be helpful just to have a vacuum here. And with my power tank and monster valves, I have yeah. one set up to the regular stem, which gives you the pressure, and then the other one set up to the monster valves, which tells you how far you're going in. And on these big tires, I like to put about uh, 25, 27 pounds of pressure in them. You'll notice with smaller tires, like 35s or 37s, it only takes about 8 to 12 seconds to air up a whole tire. Unfortunately, these are huge tires, and so it takes a little bit longer. The power tank is still rocking fast, though. And you'll notice the, the pressure is accurate on this one, but not necessarily this one, because this is open with air moving through it, so this valve is going to be accurate for starters. Crazy fast for a tire this big with a monster valve.
So that's pretty much the process. Just make sure you jack up your tire, otherwise it doesn't work too well. And you can obviously just take the rim off the tire, or the tire off the rim I should say. And that might be easier, but in my case since I have bead locks, that would have been a lot of work. I didn't want to do that. Alright, thanks for tuning in today. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy your wheeling. Say